Hi guys, I hope you're all having a very good Friday. Um, I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little bit off. I am kind of sick, so just bear with me if it's a little bit more nasally than usual. <laughs> so I thought that I would just do a quick tutorial today about how to install the Facebook Pixel. It's really not that hard, but it was something that I did need to discover for myself by looking through different tutorials on Facebook and such. So, um, but once I learned how to do it, it's actually very easy. So I'm just going to go through that with you guys. So we'll just do that quickly. So I'm in uh, ClickFunnels here. If you have ClickFunnels, um, I'm just going to create a, a new one, just one to collect emails. So yeah, let's literally just call it. Let's just call it new funnel. So I'm going to create a funnel, a simple one where people can opt in and then they'll be taken to a thank you page. OK, so automatically when you choose uh, to capture emails, you'll have an opt in page and then you'll have a thank you page. And then these are all of the templates. So I'm obviously not really going to design an actual opt in page. So I'm just going to select anyone so I'll just select this one okay and that's creating the page all right and then I can go and edit it there I'm going to do the same for the thank you page I'm just gonna pick anyone any random template and these templates are really awesome by the way I mean there are just tons to choose from and you can edit them to your hearts galore and they're very easy <laughs> coming from someone like me who really does not uh, have experience in design or you know coding or things like that if i can edit these pages then honestly anyone can do that all right so i've just picked any random templates there now um so we can start by clicking edit page here And that's about to open up. Okay, so yeah, this is literally where you would, you can edit here if you'd like. All the different elements, you can do whatever you want, but the place to put the pixel, you gotta go to settings, then you will find tracking code. And you have header code and you have footer code. And as far as I know, I think you can add it in header code as well. The video specifically that I watched um, where it taught me how to install the pixel, they put it in footer code. So just because that's how I learn and I know it does work that way, I'm going to put it in footer code. So now what we got to do is get our actual pixel code from Facebook. So I've got some different accounts here for business manager. If you don't have a business manager page, it's really simple. You would just literally go to business.facebook.com and it will ask you to create an account if you don't already have one. So it's very simple. So I'm going to go into this account and I do already have a pixel for this account. So I'm just going to go get that code. Okay, so the one that I was using um, can really be anyone. So let's, I'm going to go with this one. This is the account I've already been using to create some ads. Okay. So when you want to find your pixel, whether you have a pixel code already or you haven't, um, initiated a pixel code for an account yet you need to go to as manager and then you go to all tools and then you will see pixels okay so if you don't have a pixel already i believe this is where you would just you know you say set up pixel and it I mean, Facebook pretty much does everything for you, but we already do have a pixel here. So you see the pixel fires when we're running the ads. So since we already have one here, we are going to go to actions and then view pixel code. Okay. 
So you click on install pixel base code. You should put this one on. You should activate this to use advanced matching. I believe that just this just tracks the information from people visiting your page even more. Um, so it makes it even more accurate and you can just click here, copy pixel code. So this is your very, this is the basic code. And if you go down here, you do have install a specific event. So we'll get to that in a minute. But at first, we're just going to install the, the overall pixel code here. So literally, you're just going to paste everything here. And in this space right here is where we are going to put these specific actions. So since this is an opt-in page, I am just going to look for the, I think it's just called view content. Yeah. So for this one, uh, this is obviously people who have landed on this page are, they haven't opted in yet. So they're just viewing my opt-in page. So I'm just going to put a view content a specific event here so I know that people that went here I can retarget them later even if they didn't opt in but they uh, obviously had some kind of interest to even go to my page so I mean you can add values here you can put in currency um, but if you're just starting I mean you may not even have this information and it's not necessary so I usually just take this take this out for the time being And we don't need two of those. Okay, so that is it. So it should look something like this. You'll have, that was the basic the view page, and then I added this specific event right here so that anyone that sees this page will be tracked as a view content. Okay, so that is literally it for this. So we're going to exit here. I'm going to save it. And you can edit all this stuff at another time, but that is pretty much it. Um, and if we preview this, you should be able, it may take a couple minutes, so let's actually see if it triggers already. Uh, it does. So this is actually a, um, a little plugin that we have called Facebook Pixel Helper. And this lets you go into any page and it lets you know if there are pixels installed. So this is really awesome because you can check to see right away if um, not only if other people have pixels on their page, which is great for potential clients, um, but also for yourself. You can see, make sure everything is working fine. So these are obviously all set up correctly and you're good to go. So that is um, that is for the opt-in page. Now I'm going to even show you how you would add the pixel for a lead. So on the thank you page, this is obviously where they would go if they already opted in for whatever I was giving them. So if they opted in for my email list, they would come to the thank you page. So I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to copy the, the base code. I'm going to go to settings tracking code copy that there and then I'm gonna to go to install event code and this time I'm gonna to go to lead so again I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna go right back to where we put the other specific event. I'm just gonna take out this stuff here that I don't need Sorry guys, I'm kind of sniffling here. Okay, yeah, that is it. I'm gonna exit there. <clears throat> Save it again. And you can edit this SEO metadata when you need to. I'm gonna preview to make sure that everything is installed correctly. So again, anyone that gets to this thank you page, now I'm going to be tracking them as a lead so I can retarget them at a separate time. Because I know this is a person that is even more interested in what I have to offer. And there you go. Everything seems to be installed correctly. 
So if you don't have Facebook Pixel Helper, I definitely recommend that you get that because it just, it is very useful. You can make sure that all of your pixels are installed correctly. And again, as I said, you can also check if other people have their Facebook pixels installed on their websites. And if they don't, that is a great opportunity to kind of bring that up to them and let them know that they are missing out on a lot of very important data about clients and potential clients. So yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. I hope you found that really helpful. I'm going to leave a link down below for a 14-day free trial to ClickFunnels. If you don't like it for whatever reason, you can just cancel and you will not be charged. But in the meantime, if you get that trial, you can definitely try this out. Make sure you understand how the installation works and you'll be on your way. So hope that was helpful, guys, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.